this is Andrew Aversa with Impact Soundworks, and today I'll be showcasing our biggest instrument yet, literally, Fredonia Grand Organ. For this library, we sampled a mighty pipe organ at SUNY Fredonia in New York. With 42 stops and thousands of pipes, it's capable of both ethereal high tones and massive, overpowering 2D sounds. Let's hear a few right out of the box. At a glance, the UI might seem a bit unconventional, but it's actually quite straightforward to use. You don't need to know anything about playing an organ to get started. Each of these named buttons are organ stops, each of which was individually sampled and has its own unique tone. By enabling one, you're adding that stop to the overall sound. You can even do this while holding notes with no interruption in what you're playing. There's also a handy randomizer button right in the middle, which you can click to instantly get a unique combination of stops. It's inspiring and fun. The numbers describe the relative octave of each stop. Simply put, Smaller numbers mean higher octaves. So this viola eight stop is the same octave as the gedeckt eight, but if we turn on the gemshorn four, that will be an octave higher. And from the pedal section, the principal 16 is an octave lower than our viola 8. This way, you can combine stops to create the sound of your liking and immediately know whether a stop will add new octaves to the sound. The organization of these stops is based on how a real organ is laid out, with four divisions that have their own independent controls. If we switch to the Perform page, you'll see what I mean. We can, for example, increase the attack time of the pedal division quite a bit, so those pedal stops, which are usually big and bassy, will fade in as we hold the chord. The rest of these controls are fairly standard, but useful in this context because it lets you adjust the balance of the divisions, almost like a submixer, and even assign different divisions to different MIDI channels. 
As a brief aside, Fredonia Grand Organ should be placed in its own instance of contact because it can accept MIDI from all channels. This way, if you want, you can control each division with a separate MIDI channel. This is particularly useful if you have multiple MIDI controllers and want to simulate the full organ experience. So now let's head back to the main page to talk about a couple other interesting features specific to organs in general. First, we have a swell slider, which can be mapped to any CC and automated. And to demonstrate, I'll quickly disable the other divisions by clicking on their names. This tames the volume and the timbre of the swell division. Think of this like a dynamic slider for any kind of sustained instrument, and it's an accurate emulation of how the real Fredonia organ works and sounds. Next, there's the crescendo slider. Simply put, this slider turns stops on or off based on its position. Let's go to the default patch and hear how it works. This is a much, much easier way of automating your combination of stops so you can change your sound in the middle of a song or even in the middle of a chord with just a single control. And this is why some stops are gray instead of black or white. If a stop is gray, it's enabled for the crescendo system, but is currently muted because of the slider value. When moving the crescendo slider, the stop will come into range and dynamically turn on during the performance. It's pretty satisfying to watch all those lights come on for a big crescendo. Keep in mind, a stop must be off in order to be controlled by the crescendo slider. If the stop is on, it will always remain on, regardless of the crescendo position. Now, without getting too technical, the crescendo editor lets you toggle crescendo control per stop with the buttons on the left and sets the ranges for where they sound with the handles on the right. In this default patch, if you look at the pedal principle 16, we see that it only comes into the sound when the crescendo slider is almost at maximum. Of course, you can always ignore this function by turning off the crescendo feature altogether. In which case, all your stops are either on or off with nothing in between. By the way, if you want to conserve memory, you can click the little LED below each stop. This will actually purge it from RAM, meaning you won't be able to use it in real time anymore. Other useful features of Fredonia Grand Organ include the key editor, where you can set up custom tunings, velocity sensitivity, and a custom MIDI curve. Plus, our standard console effects rack and mixer. You'll notice we recorded the organ with four independent mic positions, plus one ready-to-go mixed channel. You can use these mics however you want, but keep in mind, adding mics also adds more voices, which can be more CPU intensive. By the way, we love the sound of the Galois Reverb, which we just added this year to our new product releases. Without this reverb, you'll want to turn the natural release noises back on which will also increase the voice count. So consider the Galoi reverb or the other convolution reverb a CPU saving technique too. Massive and highly customizable Fredonia Grand Organ is available now from Impact Soundworks for Contact Player and is fully NKS compatible. 
We know you'll find it just as inspiring as we do, and I can't wait to hear what kind of music you'll make with it. Thank you.